Sonny Hostin takes a shot at Nikki Haley yesterday because they're talking about, I think, who could either run for president or be a running mate. And uh, somebody throws out Liz Cheney. Of course, the view is going to say she could be the Republican. Liz Cheney, sure. Um, or or uh, Nikki Haley. And Sonny Hostin takes that discussion here. Listen. I think that Nikki Haley was incredibly effective governor what is her of real South name Carolina. Again? A sign of, a lot of people don't go by their actual real what name. What is her name? Yeah, I believe it's, uh, I don't want to mispronounce it. It's, it's Indian, but she, she's, but her background's she Indian. doesn't necessarily, you know, I think if she leaned into. A ton of people don't go by their but, uh, color uh, name. I wouldn't be shocked that as somebody, an Indian woman growing up in South Carolina at that time, she actually did to avoid prejudice. So I just want to be careful about critiquing yeah, her there, for going by the name she's some, There's some of by. us that can be chameleons and decide not to embrace our ethnicity so that we can pass. Sunny, so I don't think that's don't fair. You go by a different name. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one to say it. But. Americans can't pronounce Asuncion because of the under-education. Oh, my God. <laughs> the hypocrisy is just unbelievable. I saw you hit, t- touch your head, Duncan. I want, I want to go in on this one. So, number one, Alyssa Farah, who we all know is a horrible rhino who would sell anything for cash. <laughs> anything in the store is available for cash. Of course, she's not an effective Republican communicator because she said straight up a lot of people go by different names. Nikki Haley is her legal name. It's on her birth certificate. All right. Yep. So that's that's point number one. Number two is, as they pointed out, Sonny doesn't go by her actual name. I don't that's know. Because what Americans are too dumb, that. smug. Did and, you hear and that? Alyssa at the end? being like that. That's Alyssa why the clip is so like, perfect. South Carolina is a red state. Of course, the people that are racist. Who the hell? Like, of course, the only reason they will allow a quote Republican on that show is if they're declawed house cat that they can throw around. <laughs> yeah. So and that's true. Alyssa oh Farah's job. She was willing to sell her soul for that much. Right. And to get that point wrong about. Well, maybe she made up her name. Nikki Haley is her legal name. It's on her birth certificate. And okay. Sonny, Sonny's not that woman's name. As Bingo. You saw in the clip. No, I mean, but, here, but Duncan, here's what's so crazy about it. So so this is why I love the clip so much. Because at the end, Sonny's like, she, one of them points out, you know, Sonny's not your legal name. And she's like, that's because no one in America can pronounce Ascension because of the, the ill education that we <laughs> So you, it's America's fault. Like, Imagine. we're racist. And we're stupid and we're poorly educated. That's why she had to go with Sonny. But Nikki Haley just chose to pass. And that's why she went with Nikki. So Nikki Haley responds. I, I, that's, I was like, oh, shots fired. Shots fired. Nikki Haley tweeted out yesterday in response to this clip. Thanks for your concern, Sonny. It's racist of you to judge my name. Boom. Nikki is an, is an Indian name and is on my birth certificate. And I'm proud of that. What's sad is the left's hypocrisy toward conservative minorities. By the way, last I checked, Sonny is not your birth name. Oh, my God, I'm dying. Get her. <laughs> That's it right there. It is it, it just remarkable lack of self-awareness for this woman, Sonny, whose name is not Sonny, to be critiquing Nikki Haley, whose name is Nikki, for not <sighs> representing her culture. I mean, just incredible. But in case that wasn't sort of the the, the coup de grace, the segment was ended by Whoopi Goldberg, uh, whose birth name is not Whoopi Goldberg. Right? No, no. I mean, this whole thing is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> it's, not- it's like a perfect storm of hilarity. It's nor you, is AOC. You, AOC. You right? AOC you is Sandy. You 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 could That's not right. you could not even write if you were in the writers' room of SNL you couldn't write this skit and get it on the air they'd say this one there's no way this is real how do they I mean honestly I I mean this sincerely and I I guess people do watch the View which is amazing to me because it's like <laughs> you get this level of intellect on a day to day basis yeah, that's it's got to be doing something to you right but like how does this show persist in a way that like producers and everybody else are like. Good point, ladies. This is really extraordinary content. Thank you. So, or do they just not care? I mean, you tell me, Megan, because you're you, you have way more experience in this line of work than we will ever have. How can they look at that and be like, well, this is a solid product? <laughs> it's like, first of all, they're hearing their own politics reinforced. So they're like, yeah, right on. Yes, killed it, knocked it out of the park. So that's the entire producing staff there. Uh, is on the team of Sonny and Whoopi and Joy Behar. So they love it. Um, and then secondly, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning and there's shit on. So it's like, you're good. You, like, what are you up against? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. You're fine. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about ratings. This is basically a place filler until we get to the content content that we actually care about. I just can't get over the fact that Sonny Hostin basically says, 
I had to change my name because Americans are too racist and stupid to pronounce Ascension. But Nikki Haley did it because she's some scumbag minority trying to pass as white. Like the incendiary <laughs> nature of what she said with just exactly. like, I mean, no calling base. her a How chameleon. She? she called her a chameleon, a chameleon. That's and then, an absolute slur. And then Alyssa Farah is going to get up tomorrow and go on the show again. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I just cannot imagine any Republican sitting through that segment in person and then going back to the show the next day and, and cashing no. a paycheck. I mean, no, it's just it's Alyssa not Farah it's wants to be a star. She does not uh -huh. want to be true to any ideals that she may or may not have had. Sorry, Michael, keep going. Well, I just, you know, I think it's it's a show where she's paid to show up every day and lose the argument. <laughs> yeah. And I yeah, can't imagine right. that being part of your life. In that, in yeah. that sense, well cast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like me, you are growing more and more concerned about the future. The market's all over the place. Inflation, highest level in 40 years. Interest rates are skyrocketing. Market experts are using the word recession and terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. Not good. If you want to protect your future, call a precious metal dealer I trust. American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your saving and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call, and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside your IRA or 401k. And they keep it simple. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. And as an exclusive offer for my fans, if you call them right now, they're going to give you up to $1,500 of free silver and a free safe too on qualifying orders. Don't wait. Call now. Call 866-518-2955. That's 866-518-2955 or text Megan, M-E-G-Y-N to 65532. Again, call 866-518-2955 or text Megan to 65532. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.